Hai Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And for this video Me and my partner here are going to present about our final year project Entitled IoT Based Stimulus B Monitoring System uh, Let me introduce myself first My name is Muhammad Ruzaini bin Mazri um, I'm from J4EE 1115 a one And my name is Muhammad Faizuddin bin Omar I'm from J4EE 1115 so for introduction, we are going to talk about why does this project is selected by us. So there are three points. First, to help UITM's team be friends project. So since UITM have this community service group uh, under Yayasan Pelajaran Juho, conducted by Bender Munira and by our classmate, which is Muhammad Rajdan. So as a classmate, we are trying to help as many as possible and trying to contribute something to the group. For the second point, to help beekeepers in terms of monitoring the beehive, we are trying to help, uh, trying to make their work more easier. And the last point, which is to expose about IP. I believe that in we are entering the 22nd century and everybody is using their devices and internet so why not recombine these ideas and try to make a better solution and project for a B community we pointed out three problem statements of this project first is theme of the stimulus beast lock why is it happen because the honey and the propolis that created by this stimulus bee is very viable Next, the disturbance from animals or any living things uh, such as monkey, fox and etc. that interested to the honey of this bee. And the last one is unable to monitor logs stayed remotely. If the beekeepers doesn't have any devices of monitoring system, they need, they need to do it manually. Now we are looking at our objective. So the first one, we have to design a prototype which is our product, IoT based stimulus beehive monitoring system. Second, to develop and implement hardware and software of the prototype by using .MCU8266. And the last one is to validate our prototype which is to see the data from, uh, for our temperature, humidity and moisture. This is our scope of work for our sensors. For DHT11, the temperature limits that we put is 35 degrees Celsius and for the motion range uh, for PIR sensor can detect is around 1 meter. So in this project, we use the components such as resistor, capacitor and the diode. The not MCU ESP8266 as our microcontroller. Next, the voltage regulator to regulate the voltage from 9 volt to 5 volt uh, DC supply. Uh, we use the red and yellow LED for the indicator and buzzer. So next, we use the LCD I2C to, to display the data. So these three components, the LED, buzzer and LCD act as our output. And the last one, we use DHT11 and PIR sensor as our input sensor. So next is block diagram of our project. We use the PIR sensor and DHT11 uh, temperature and humidity sensor as our input and the data will transmit to our microcontroller which is not MCU ESP8266 uh, powered by 5 volt supply and next unit the data will go to the output which is LCD, LED and the buzzer. So here we're going to look at flowchart input and output. There are two flowchart for temperature and motion sensor. So first we take a look on temperature sensor. The first first step here we're going to give power supply to our circuit in order to switch on our microcontroller, the no, MCU8266. Then the sensor can be functional 
by detecting the temperature uh, surrounding. So we set our limit temperature 35 degrees Celsius. So in any case, if uh, our sensor detect temperature exceeding 35 degrees Celsius, our output will be red light and buzzer indicates as warning with us and also we will be sending message uh, through Gmail and if the temperature is below 35 uh, the data will be recorded the data will be recorded too if the uh, temperature is exceeding 35 degrees Celsius and for LCD it will display uh, the current situ the current temperature of the environment And for our motion sensor, same as temperature sensor, which we will switch on our circuit by uh, giving power supply to our microcontroller, and then uh, the motion sensor can be functional. So, uh, for motion sensor, it is very straightforward, which it will detect any motion. So, if there are any motion, uh, the output. Uh, will be the yellow LED will be displayed and the buzzer will be uh, will turn on too and the data for this motion also will be sent to our uh, platform that we use uh, which is ThinkSpeak and the data also will be recorded So first of all, we go to the first input of our project, which is the motion sensor. So when the PAIR sensor detect the motion, the data will be submitted to the thing speed during 15 seconds. So next is our second input of project, which is uh, DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. When the temperature is exceeded 35 degrees Celsius within 2 minutes, the data will be sent to the think speed and the notification will be sent through the email. So right now we are looking for our last slide for the conclusion part. So we pointed out the conclusion point here. So the first one there is we as we successfully designed a prototype for our project, which is the IoT-based stainless beehive monitoring system. The second one is we accomplish on developing and implement hardware and software of the prototype using the not MCU 8266. And last but not least, uh, we uh, the project fulfilled on collecting the output data. So that's all from us. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.